Looking across Texas now, Governor Greg Abbott has signed an executive order looking to curb anti-Semitism on college campuses around our state. So the governor's directive orders uh, Texas colleges and universities to review their free speech policies, define anti-Semitism in clear terms, and outline appropriate punishments for anti-Semitic rhetoric on campuses. But some experts say any policy will need to clear uh, certain legal standards to hold up to challenges. If it is viewpoint based and there are some elements that would make this executive order viewpoint based, um, you have to ask yourself whether it would pass strict scrutiny, the constitutional test for content based um, restrictions on speech. So Jewish student groups are celebrating this order, but the Texas chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations has condemned it, saying, quote, advocating for Palestinian rights and criticizing the actions of the Israeli government are not inherently anti-Semitic. It goes on to say students must be allowed to express their opinions and engage in debate without fear of censorship. The order comes as new data from the Anti-Defamation League shows Texas had the second highest number of white supremacist incidents last year and Houston ranked the highest out of any other major city in the state. The ADL says just under 700 incidents happened in Texas last year out of more than 7,500 nationwide. It's a 12% increase in the past two years. The group found 67 of those incidents happened right here in Houston with 34 listed as being anti-Semitic in nature. 804